Hi, this is Lydia, the lifestyle coach, helping women to have peace in their relationship with food. Have you ever wondered, once I stop binge eating, what's gonna happen to my weight? My weight, my, my weight, the scale, my body, my shape. Good question. Poof. Here's how it works. Imagine that this is your weight and that this is your set point. Your set point is this natural weight that your body just fights to be at. Like if you just ate normally for a while, this would be your weight. It's different for everyone. For most people, it's not the same as a 12 year old supermodel. So if this is your set point and this is your weight, if you're restricting calories, it's kind of like holding the cork underwater, under your set point. It's not a natural place for your weight. It takes strain, it takes energy, and you have to put tons of effort toward it all the time to keep it down there. And if you let it go just a little bit, it pops back up. When I was restricting, I would have like a piece of fruit and I would put on weight. When you let go of restricting, the cork, your weight just pops back up to your set point, to the surface. Maybe a little above because of all the pressure of being underneath the water, but then it just pops back down to the set point and it just sits effortlessly at that set point. This happened to me, I was so terrified. If I would like let go just a little bit and let myself eat, like it would pop back up and my weight and I would freak out and then I would have to just, no, stuff it back down. No, because if I let go at all, then my weight pops back up. So I have to diet even harder. Keep it down, keep it down. Because here's the fear. When we see our weight going up, we just assume that it'll just keep going up and up and up and up and up. And by this time next year, I'll be 6,000 pounds. And the cork just keeps going up into space. It won't. It'll stop. And where it stops, it'll be so easy to maintain. Look, no hands! If you are binge eating, most likely because you're dieting and eating a ton of calories, your weight may be artificially high. When you stop binge eating, your weight just goes back down till it finds a set point. You may already be at your set point, so there you are. When you get here, you could feel a variety of ways. Awesome! Or, what? My set point is not okay. I will never achieve my dreams of being the top runway model at this weight. So we restrict calories and we push it back down under this set point. Fun fact, your set point don't go down. Your body is designed to survive. What would motivate your body to carry around less stored energy? But it can go up. How might you raise your set point? You say, I'm just gonna eat less and force my weight down. Your body says, this woman is in a famine all the time. Who knows when she'll get her next good meal? What she needs is to carry around more fat stores. So your body raises your set point and holding the cork down doesn't last forever. So when you gain your weight back, it's that plus some. And it's, oh no, I have to diet even harder. Diet even harder, diet even harder. Keep dieting, keep dieting, more dieting, must keep dieting. So when you stop binge eating, your weight may go up, it may go down, or it may stay the same. This is not pick your own adventure. This is bloom where you're planted for an amazing community where we learn how to do blooming all together. Go to www.lydialifestyle.com and join our free Facebook support group. And of course, subscribe here for weekly videos. It's a magnet, it's magic. Lydia the Lifestyle Coach, mwah, unpoof.